2011 MacBook Pro DVD drive replacement. Begin by shutting down and flipping over your MacBook. Remove the seven short Phillips head screws starting in the top left and going around the contour of the MacBook. Now the three long Phillips head screws. Remove the cover. Disconnect the battery before you begin. DVD drive removal. Begin by disconnecting the Wi-Fi cable. Now disconnect the EyeSight cable. Next, the speaker. Disconnect the four Wi-Fi antenna cables, starting with the longest first. Next, the three small ones. You can just pry your screwdriver underneath and pop them out. Move all the cables to the left and out of the way. We'll be unscrewing the speaker bracket. It's screwed in with two Phillips head screws. Screw out the right one first. Now the left one. Now remove the right speaker Phillips head screw. You can now lift the speaker up. Be careful, it's still connected to the subwoofer. Part all the cables and push it to the right side. The DVD drive is screwed in with three Phillips head screws. Go ahead and remove those. Disconnect the DVD drive and the hard drive from the logic board. You can now lift and remove the drive. DVD drive reinstallation. Go ahead and insert the drive in at an angle and drop it into its socket. Reinstall the three Phillips head screws, one in the top left, one in the bottom left, and one in the back. Reconnect the hard drive and the DVD drive to the logic board. Place the speaker back into position. Tuck the Wi-Fi cable antennas underneath the speaker. One of the cables has a loop you have to put the screw in through the loop go ahead and fasten it the second cable also has a little metal loop loop the Phillips head screw through it Go ahead and reconnect the antenna cables, starting with the longest one first, then the next three. They're all different lengths, so make sure that you're connecting 
the longest one next every time. They pop right in. If you place it right over the socket hole and press it in with your finger, that should connect it back in. Make sure it's firmly connected. Trace out the camera cable and tuck it in along the speaker. Make sure all the antenna cables are tucked in underneath the speaker bracket. Reconnect the Wi-Fi cable. In this example, the Wi-Fi cable popped out. Reconnect the other end of the Wi-Fi cable to the logic board. Reconnect the speaker. You can now reconnect the EyeSight camera cable. Reconnect the last Phillips head screw on the right side of the speaker. Reconnect the battery. Reinstall the cover. Install the three long Phillips head screws first. Then going around the contour of the MacBook, install the seven short Phillips head screws.